Here, the cloud platform, how it looks like in the open radio access network, we'll go through it. On the left side, it is the traditional RAN we are considering here as a traditional 4G radio access network where we have a black box, which is a baseband unit, which is connected through the old conventional uh, front hall, which is CIPRI, uh, connected to the radio unit. And here we know that all the different functionalities related to the protocol layer will be taken care of by the single unit of a baseband. Now, the software and hardware in a traditional uh, RAN, uh, we have learned about it, that it is coupled together. And uh, But as we are moving towards the cloudification, the first part, we have to make sure that there is a decoupling of the software and hardware, and that is achieved by the virtualization. So here in this uh, box inside this, we can see that there is a general purpose hardware, which doesn't belong to any individual. It's a it's basically not a proprietary or uh, we can have some kind of non-proprietary ecosystem here. So we can have compute storage and networking, three different uh, you know, network parts we can take from any one uh, of the suppliers and we can just put up a new operating system on the top of that, and uh, which is again from the open source such as Linux. And then we can enable the virtual machines or the containers. So containers is a cloud native functions, which is uh, a little bit on advanced level. Uh, or uh, virtual machines can be used in this case. And then there is a uh, different function such as CU, DU and RIC can be extracted from the underlying hardware through the hypervisor in this case, uh, or then there'll be a uh, orchestrator such as Kubernetes, which can manage uh, these multiple virtual machines uh, and the containers. Now these sites, uh, once the virtualization is happening, these uh, nodes, which are on the left side will be converted uh, into the virtualized open distributed unit and virtualized open uh, central unit. And then we have a RIC also, which is a new um, component we have seen in Open RAN. Now we can keep these uh, different functions at uh, the edge or at the regional location, which we learned just in a previous slide. And uh, now we can have the pool of uh, the resources at maybe at the edge or a regional cloud so that efficiently we can uh, scale up and scale down the capacity as and when we need it. And we can add a new functions uh, depending upon the requirement uh, just on the go. So this is broadly how the cloud platform looked like on the right side as compared to what we have seen in the traditional RAN. And we'll touch base on these different important components in the upcoming slides.